I'm Lawrence McQuillan, Director of the Center on Entrepreneurial Innovation at the Independent Institute. And I want to talk today about a very sneaky financing mechanism that I discovered regarding smart growth. Smart growth is the whole notion that we should jam as many people into high-rise, high-density residential housing units near mass transit systems in order to get them out of their cars and using bicycles and walking. Now, whether or not you agree with this vision of the future, it's important that we all understand that we're paying for this vision whether we realize it or not or want to pay for it or not. And this is how it works. Every time you fill up your gas tank, 18.4 cents of every gallon you put into your car goes into the Highway Trust Fund, which was created in 1956 to fund the construction and repair of the nation's interstate highway system. But over time, the trust fund has become a slush fund, and various interest groups have been able to tap into this fund and use the money for their own pet projects. And one of the groups that's done this very successfully are smart growth advocates. Now, one of the programs that they've set up to do this is called MAP21, and it was passed in 2012 by Congress and President Obama. And that takes $105 billion out of the Highway Trust Fund, your gas tax money, and uses it around the country to build bike paths, walking paths, parks. Notice that none of this has anything to do with repairing roads and building new highways. But the thing that really irritates me is about a billion dollars of that $105 billion is coming here to the San Francisco Bay Area to local governments in the area that are gonna use that money for two things. One is to buy public land and use it for open space preserves. So to take more land out of the private sector, private ownership, transfer it to the public domain. And the other thing is some of the money, millions of dollars, is going to be used to build new stack and pack housing near mass transit systems. So in effect, whether you know it or not, your gas tax money is going to fund this whole smart growth image of what the future should look like. And it's, I think, incredibly unfair that our money is being spent that way. And I think ultimately it means the loss of local control of our communities.